Hi, Dr. Marty here, the voice for the animals. I want to talk to you about some of the specialty procedures that we do at the clinic at which I am the medical director at Smith Ridge Veterinary Center. One of those procedures is called cryosurgery. Cryo means cold or frozen. We've been performing cryosurgery at our clinic since the 1970s. We use it specifically for tumors. When a tumor is growing by the body, it's alive, and the body is actually growing it. When you remove a tumor with conventional surgery, you bring it back to the point it was at before it grew the first tumor cell, and then nothing is preventing a tumor from growing back in that area. With cryosurgery, what you're doing is you're freezing the tumor and leaving it there. It then becomes a foreign object as it dies, and the body starts to reject the tumor. So it's the only form of, of surgery known that's actually immune stimulating for the patient. At the same time, cryosurgery is less invasive, typically requires less sedation or anesthesia, and it's also the only form of surgery known that is tissue sparing. An area that gets frozen, if it's diseased tissue, dies and then gets replaced with scar tissue, so you, you're not left with a hole there or a space. You actually have new, healthy scar tissue being laid down. So cryosurgery, therefore, is one of the forms of surgery that is tissue sparing. Here is a perfect example of the benefits of cryosurgery. This, unfortunately, is a 13-week-old Labrador pup that has highly aggressive mast cell cancer, eating maybe 70% of the large pad on his paw. It's also spread to his lymph node and his spleen. The recommendation conventionally was to amputate this dog's leg and then go on chemotherapy, or to try to save the leg, 25 radiation treatments five days a week, followed by chemotherapy. The prognosis given by a board-certified oncologist for this little pet was three to five months. As you can see here, we performed cryosurgery. That did not cure anything, but it saved the foot. You can see me freezing the actual tumor, and then sequentially you will see what occurred over the next five months as the tumor started to rot from the body, and the body rejected the tumor, but then miraculously laid down new tissue where the tumor used to be. In conjunction with this, we went on a program of nutritional supplements to work on his immune system to take care of the spread of cancer to his lymph node and to his spleen. And now, eight years later, he's still alive with a normal looking and functioning paw. Here is another great example of the benefits of cryosurgery. Taffy here had a rapidly growing squamous cell carcinoma in the middle of her back. And the specialty facility that the owners took Taffy to said that they probably could not get it out with wide margins, so there was no sense doing anything. Said despite any kind of therapy, she probably had three to six months to live. We performed cryosurgery on this tumor, and as you could see from the pictures, the tumor died, started to get rejected, and now we actually have Taffy here. Hi Taff, how are you? You can see, here is the area, and as you can see, not only is there no tumor there, but you can't even see where the original tumor was, and it's been two years. Of course, cryosurgery alone was not the only thing we did. We also put Taffy on a series of supplements to work on her immune system because it was the immune deficiency that allowed this tumor to grow in the first place. Taffy, you're a great patient. For more information, go to drmarty.com.